On this edition of City Focus, the City of Valdosta wins the Live, Play, Work Award. The engineering department tells us about the new streetscape project on Patterson. We inform citizens on how to get a business license. Valdosta Main Street has a new event coming to downtown this spring. These stories and more on this edition of City Focus. Welcome to City Focus. I'm Marcus McConico, the media coordinator for the City of Valdosta. This is the third episode of City Focus in 2019. City Focus is your source for what's happening within your local government. These are the most important topics that are happening in the city. The Georgia Beer Company officially cut the ribbon, bringing in exciting new business to downtown. The old waterworks building in downtown Valdosta has been vacant for some time. And with the help of community partners, the Georgia Beer Company has opened the doors to a new brewery in a historic building. For the longest time, I thought that this building could be something really special for this area. We, we, the city vacated it as their waterworks building years ago, and it's been sitting here wanting something like this to come about. And uh, I want to congratulate y'all for having the vision that you did to uh, to do. This is a beautiful addition to downtown Valdosta. Many people played a crucial role in making the business happen and the entire downtown community will see benefits from it. You can take a, a wonderfully old building and turn it into something that now that not only these entrepreneurs will be able to utilize but certainly that the citizens will be able to come back and see the construction that's here, the building itself and all the great work that was put into it. But again, what it shows is the spirit and the determination that when individuals has a dream and something in their heart that they really want to get accomplished with a new business, that with prayer, effort, and partnerships working with the community, this is the result in what you see. Georgia Beer Company owner Chris Jones is excited and thankful to be able to share his vision with the community. I have this vision and in our heads think it's amazing and it's another thing for everybody else to see that same vision and take the risk and go on that journey with us. And if it weren't for those folks have, you know, sharing that vision with us, we wouldn't be standing here today. And then the chairman mentioned partnerships and without partnerships, we definitely wouldn't be here today. Without partnering with Andrea and the entire Valdosta Lounge Development Board, without the City of Valdosta, without the Downtown Development Authority, Valdosta Main Street, uh, the South Georgia Regional Commission, um, we wouldn't be able to make this thing happen. Downtown Valdosta welcomes the Georgia Beer Company and wishes them the best of luck. The City of Valdosta and the Utilities Department are constantly trying to improve the city sewer systems. Groups are out every day inspecting manholes to find ways to keep stormwater from getting into the system. So we have already uh, completed the evaluation of about 500 manholes. We've already completed the rehab of about 250 of those manholes. We have 30 manholes being rehabilitated right now. The contractor is out uh, doing that work as we speak. We also have about 700 additional feet of pipe that's being uh, lined or pipe bursting technology used to replace that pipe that's letting excessive flow get into the system. Employees are inspecting the aging infrastructure to solve inflow and infiltration issues. It's a continuing process. You know, we invest uh, on average about four to five million dollars a year just on infrastructure repairs. That's uh, going out smoke testing. That's, uh, you know, doing some video analysis of the sewer system, sewer collection system, doing a manhole rehab and uh, doing uh, cured in place or replacing defective pipe that we find out in the system. The department has gotten significant support from city council throughout the years to help maintain the system and solve any issues. Uh, you know, over the last uh, uh, 
10 years, I would say. Uh, we've spent in excess of $175 million on the uh, wastewater system, water and sewer collection and wastewater distribution system. So uh, I think we're doing the right thing. You know, we're putting forth uh, the efforts. Now we may have not gotten the word out of all the things that we're doing to address the systems, but we're starting to see the result of all that work. City officials plan to work better with neighboring counties because our issues can become problems for other communities. Uh, we understand the concerns and we're talking to the folks to the north and we are talking to the folks to the south and uh, we're doing uh, everything we can to make sure that uh, and what we do here in Valdosta is, uh, has a positive effect on the environment. For more information, contact the Utilities Department. The sidewalks on Patterson Street between Gordon and Magnolia are about to get a facelift beginning on February 6th. Well, what you're going to see on Patterson between uh, Magnolia on the south and Gordon on the, on the north is sidewalk on each side of the street and also um, shrubs and trees, uh, benches and uh, waste receptacles. It's going to start February 6th and it's a four month project. The completion of the project will better connect the downtown area to the VSU community. Patterson has been identified as one of the uh, welcoming corridors into the city and this is going to be a pedestrian friendly a connection between downtown and the VSU campus. The city is asking citizens to be patient and drive carefully while the project is being completed. This project is, of course, mainly sidewalk, and there may be lane shifts at, at some time, but there won't be any road closures. For more information, contact the engineering department. The city of Valdosta is one of nine recipients of the 2019 Live Work Play Award given by the Georgia Municipal Association and Georgia Trend. And what this means is that they, we were recognized for a lot of things. Uh, the downtown development, the great things that are going on downtown, and they've cited things like tax incentives, tax credits that so many of our downtown businesses have been using. Many hardworking people in multiple factors led to Valdosta being awarded the Live, Work, Play City Award. It's recognizing us as a community for our efforts uh, in our historic, beautiful downtown, promoting a strong, transparent local government, and a thriving workforce community. You know, truly, I believe Valdosta has something for everyone, from children to retirees. As a matter of fact, just last month, Valdosta was listed as one of the eight best cities in the nation now, in the nation, to retire. The city is proud to get this type of recognition from groups outside of our community. It's truly special when it comes from outsiders that come in and they look at our community and they see what's going on. It's a truly special recognition. I think this award is also a testament to our amazing community. All the businesses, organizations, and the people such as yourselves uh, that make this a great place to, uh, to live, work, and play. But more importantly, we all call it home. We encourage all citizens to go out and enjoy this great city that we live in. Welcome back to City Focus. We have Vanessa Flukas here with us to discuss the importance, um, an important workshop on heirs' property and estate planning coming up in the future. Welcome to the show, Vanessa. Thanks, Marcus, for having us. 
Okay. For those who don't know, what exactly is Ayers property and why is it important for the city to have a workshop on it? Okay. Ayers property is a property, a parcel, house, a commercial property that can be left to the heirs of the owner of the property. So for instance, if someone has a will, they will actually think out and, and, and plan who that property should go to, and they're their heirs. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when people die and they don't have a will, it's intestate, and that means that every child, every grandchild, every great-grandchild is an heir to what we call that estate. Wow. And that means that that property has all of those heirs attached to it. it um, why is that, um, I guess, what are we trying to solve with that workshop and teach people about um, estate planning and taking care of and making sure a property has, I guess, as few heirs as, pro as possible? Okay, it's, it's a matter of planning. It's mm. making sure that you understand heirs property and understand how it can be beneficial but then it can be an adverse uh, situation also. Mm -hmm. um, the importance of it is is that for a lot of our properties in our community a lot of people don't have wills. They haven't planned that far to think hey if something happens to me what's going to happen to this property. Also it's not beneficial to property owners who don't have a will because if they're seeking governmental program assistance such mm -hmm. as our CDBG housing rehab program yes. that property cannot be in a state of heirs property mm -hmm. so that has to be resolved before they can apply for any type of government assistance to help rehab their homes to do a refinance or do anything that means that another entity has some kind of control or interest in that property gotcha. because they're hesitant to do it because what will happen is if something should happen to you, that means they have to consult every mm -hmm. single one of those people that are an heir to that property to do anything with it. Because they all have to agree because they have a piece of the property. Yes, they do. Gotcha. So when is the workshop being held and where is it being okay. held? The workshop is going to be held on Saturday, February 23rd at the Valdosta Parks and Rec's main administrative building, which is at 1901 North Forest Street. Mm -hmm. It's going to start at 9 o'clock and generally the presentation from the Georgia Heirs Workshop Law Group generally lasts about 45 minutes mm -hmm. to an hour. And then for the rest of that time until noon, we're going to set up time where people can pre-register to have one-on-one -on -one sessions okay. with some of our lawyers that will be there presenting and some of the staff from Georgia Heirs Property Law Group. Okay, that's cool. And who are we encouraging to come to this meeting? We are mainly encouraging City of Valdosta residents because mm -hmm. this funding, making this possible, is for that group. But anyone can come and hear the presentation and gain the information so that it can be beneficial for them in the state planning, regardless if they live in the city or the county. Gotcha. And all of this leads up to a, um, an estate planning clinic that you have in April. Correct. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's an extension of the estate planning clinic. Mm -hmm. This is the Wills Clinic. Okay. And at the Wills Clinic, we are working with the Georgia Heirs Property Law Group, also with Coleman Talley, which is our local law firm here. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be giving us pro bono legal assistance in preparing simple wills for people. Gotcha. And this could be something, and it's free of charge, mm -hmm. this could be something that could cost people hundreds of dollars to do just to have that peace of mind to say, I do have a will. A lot of people feel like, I don't have enough property to have a will. Everyone should have a will mm -hmm. because you're not sure what you may gain during the years leading up to your death gotcha. that may still need to be decided on once you pass. And that's on April 27th, am I correct? Yes, Saturday, April 27th, and it's going to be at the Coleman Tally offices downtown. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put out additional information on that. We're going to try our best to have as many people pre-registered for it so we can set up the allotted times for each because you're actually going to have time that you're going to be meeting meeting one-on-one -on -one with an actual attorney. So we would like to make sure that we have all of our slots filled. Gotcha. Well, thank you, Vanessa, for coming on the show. Let us know a little bit more about these workshops. And we'll be back here on City Focus.
Just over a year from now, the 2020 federal census will be completed. A census is a survey of a population in a particular city or area. Starting next year in April, residents in Valdosta and Lowndes County will get a postcard and they will fill out that postcard and send it in based on the number of, of family members there and everything. Now, if they don't get, if they don't fill that postcard out and send it in, then somebody's going to knock on their door and they're going to ask them questions and they'll have a, a laptop there that they'll answer those questions and it'll go straight in. So it's very important just because if you don't send that card back in, then please don't turn those people away because it's important that, uh, that we get that, we get everybody counted. The survey is taken every 10 years and it is important for citizens to participate. Planning and Zoning Administrator Matt Martin has been preparing the city for the upcoming census. And Matt has almost assured me that we will be well over 60,000 people in Valdosta when this census is taken, which that's going to be a tremendous thing because that's a growth of seven to 10,000 people in the last 10 years. Uh, so, you know, I think in, our, in 2010, our census revealed about 54,000, some a little bit more than 54,000. So that increase will provide us with some federal funds that we are desperately in need of. For more information on the 2020 census, contact Public Information. The Public Works Department wants area residents to know that their services include more than just picking up your trash. You can also get roll-offs for the purpose of building or demolition. When anyone is requesting or needing a roll-off container for any kind of uh, demolition repair or any kind of you know, home repair or like this uh, company behind me that's coming in uh, with a big uh, remodel, all they have to do is contact the Public Works Department. Who is eligible to get roll-offs from the city of Valdosta? We have uh, new companies or businesses come in and, and you know, request these containers. We also have uh, homeowners, they want to do a little addition to the house or anything or rip out a remodel of a bathroom or a kitchen. Uh, we've got them up to a 15, up to a 40 yard container like the one behind me. We also have some that are in uh, a 30 and a 20 yard uh, capacity it has smaller sides so it's easier to put material in. Also for landscapers and residents redoing your lawns. We even offer the service as well of uh, you're ripping out your yard, uh, your landscape and all you have is uh, the uh, natural brush and all that we can work with you as well. So we have different payment options and all that so uh, as long as they call the Public Works Department and uh, we'll set up an account and we'll go through everything. These containers, they're, you know, you can put yard debris or anything like that in as well. And that's another thing that people don't think of, you know, when we have storms or something, you know, I've got a large tree, I've got anything, well, you know, we can work with you on that as well. For more information, contact the Public Works Department. For those interested in starting a business in Valdosta, the first thing you have to do is get a business license. Well, the first step is you come down here and there is a business license application that you'll fill out in the business license office. Uh, there are a number of steps you have to go through. Uh, there's zoning and you have to check with the fire marshal and, you know, it depends on what type of business you're opening as to exactly which steps you'll have to go through, but they'll, they'll help you with that. City workers try to process these applications as fast as possible about three or four days for the actual process of, of turning the paperwork around but if there are inspections that have to be done that depends uh, on when the inspections get scheduled and to some extent uh, that, that depends on the, the schedule of the applicant. Um, a lot of times the uh, fire marshals have to work to get with the applicant but usually you know we shoot for about three to four days. Residents have to remember no matter how small your business is, you still need a business license. Your, you know, your lawn care, folks like that who may not have a permanent office and it may not necessarily be a full-time deal for them. It's just kind of a side business. Uh, but even if it's not your full-time employee and, and you don't have any employees yourself, 
uh, you're still going to need an application. You're still going to need to get that business license. Existing businesses remember to renew your license at the end of each year. A calendar year license. So no matter when you get it, it's going to expire December 31st. Now we have that 30 day grace period at the end, so uh, you know we're not coming after you on January 1st, but your license does expire on December 31st. So you'll need to come down here, or if you're an existing business, which is another reason to make sure we have good uh, contact information for you, they'll send you out a renewal application, which you'll need to take care of, mail it back in, and it can all be handled uh, through the mail if you're an existing licensee with no changes to your business, no low change to your location. For more information, contact the Business License Office at 229-259-3520. The City of Valdosta will soon have 10 automatic generators to ensure that lift stations continue to work even when the power is out. So if we lose electrical power, we lose our pumping capability. So. Um, if we lose power for too long, say more than an hour, we'd actually have a sewer spill. Mm -hmm. So this unit is designed to take the place of utility power in the event of a, a power outage, tree goes down or whatever, and it'll come on automatically. It provides power for as long as we need it. Uh, we can run with normal pump usage three or four days on a tank of fuel. The generators are being built by a local company, saving taxpayer dollars while still improving Valdosta's sewer systems. They're built locally right here in Valdosta. Powerhouse diesel generators builds them. They're very simple, um, industrial grade generators, not like something you'd get at your house. Uh, this generator will run for 30 years uh, without needing any major maintenance on the engine. The generators are just one of the steps the utilities department is taking to prevent sewer spills. The department is also checking manholes, smoke testing, and replacing old pipes to prevent inflow and infiltration. Long-term goal is to have, or short-term goals, have no sewer spills. And uh, these will go uh, or prevent those sewer spills in the event of you know, utility power loss. It's a huge step forward in reliability and, and you know, safety for the citizens of Valdosta. Try to pump by hand or local. Many of the improvements completed by utility workers go without much fanfare. But this group of hardworking men and women are constantly working to improve the city. The city is going all out to um, eliminate sewer spills, and uh, uh, it's it's a nonstop process. Once we get done with this project, we'll be looking at other projects, uh, and then there's constant maintenance on everything that you install. You can't leave it. You have to constantly look at it. We have a preventive maintenance program in place that works real well, and. Uh, we're trying and the city is improving year by year and month by month now. Once we get these installed, there will be 10 of these and then on the next budget cycle we'll be getting uh, 10 more. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. For more information, contact the Utilities Department at 229-259-3592. Valdosta Main Street has a new event coming to downtown this spring. Farm Days has been tweaked, and now we have the Maker's Market. Main Street is looking for a variety of vendors to make up its new Maker's Market. Instead of just straight farmers, we want to expand the market and, in, and let it be um, farmers, makers, antiques, um, music, art, everything. So it's not, it's not just um, farmers, it's not just produce, it's not just food, it's everything. So if you want to be a vendor, just contact our office. Um, we, you can get on our website, ValdostaMainStreet.com. You can check out our Facebook page. Just search for Valdosta Main Street, and we will get you set up. For more information, contact Valdosta Main Street. The City of Valdosta has several education programs for citizens. We are currently taking applications for Citizens Government 101. Government 101 gives citizens the opportunity to learn about every department in the city and get to meet the people that make your local government work. Just visit our website to apply and be a part of the 2019 class. This concludes another edition of City Focus. Be sure to visit our website, ValdostaCity.com. Like us on Facebook, Valdosta City Without Limits. Also like our Valdosta Youth Council page. Follow us on Twitter at City of Valdosta and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Metro 17 Valdosta, to watch City Focus On Demand. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, 
here on City Focus.